May I thank my honourable friend for Congleton, who uh, uh, speaks so knowledgeably uh, about these issues, particularly in relation to Hong Kong, but also for China as a whole. Um, let me reassure her, it remains the UK Government's view that for Hong Kong's future success, it is absolutely essential that it enjoys and is seen to enjoy the full measure of the high degree of autonomy and the rule of law as set out in that joint declaration and enshrined in the basic law and in keeping with the commitment to one country, two systems. I referred earlier in response to the Right Honourable Gentleman for Orkney and Shetland uh, issues around the uh, current extradition law that is being planned. And, uh, it is a good example, actually, of where difficult cases make, make for, for tough law because, uh, as you may be aware, this has come about simply because of um, well, an important case where uh, a... Uh, an individual was murdered in Taiwan uh, and the accused has ended up in Hong Kong and there hasn't been obviously an extradition treaty in place um, and it was for that reason that obviously um, given that Taiwan is obviously regarded as part of one, one China that uh, so suddenly this becomes uh, an issue with far greater implications. I believe uh, as I'm sure my honourable friend does that it is important for any changes to extradition arrangements from Hong Kong to mainland China, that they must respect Hong Kong's high degree of autonomy and cannot and must not affect the rights and freedoms set out in the joint declaration. Um, Thank you, Mr Speaker.